With over 18 years in IT at top tier companies like Microsoft, Accenture and IBM, I have analyzed a lot of data and crafted compelling visualizations. While it took me years to master data analysis, this video is about making this journey easier and faster for you, so you can achieve 90% of the results in just 20% of the time invested. If you have decided to pursue a career as a data analyst, congratulations! I am thrilled you have landed on this video as it would deeply influence how you draw your journey from here. While I'll tell you what to do to become a data analyst, let me first tell you what not to do. First thing first, stop searching for that single best YouTube video that can make you a data analyst overnight. Because watching somebody doing data analysis for a few hours would never make you one. To truly excel, you need a structured learning approach with hands-on practical experience. And that is exactly what this video is all about. Before we get to the business, I just have two more things to say. I find a lot of folks out there advising aspiring data analysts to invest time learning Excel. Don't waste your precious time on spreadsheets in 2024. What? Stay tuned as I'll address that soon. Second, I believe a plan and if it is a time bound is more likely to be achieved. Somebody might say learn Excel, but I can spend a year on Excel and I might still not feel done with it. Problem is it is not time bound. So neither spend time on Excel nor too much time on any one technology. Remember, progress is important than mastery. With that, I provide you with a five step approach, which is time bound and requires an investment of three to four hours of your time every day. And here is the plan. We embark on our journey by delving into essentials and foundational technologies for data analysis. Next, we navigate through the landscape of visualization tools, carefully selecting the most powerful for you. Step 3 leads us to explore advanced technologies and programming skills. Next, seamlessly integrating these tools into the cloud environment is our next strategic learning move. Finally, I guide you to the practical hands-on projects. And before we close, tips and tricks for landing your next data analyst job. So let's get going. Like in many other videos over YouTube, if you anticipated the first technology to learn being Excel, you are absolutely wrong. While it is good to know spreadsheets, today it is fair to assume that even a school pass out has a good understanding of Excel. As long as you have come this far to do some pivot tables and VLOOKUPs in Excel, you are good to go. Cloud computing has made drastic change in the way the data analysis is done today. Amount of data being crunched is way more than what Excel can handle. So don't waste too much time on Excel as companies are moving away from it for any enterprise grade data analysis. So what should you learn first? Relational Database Management Systems, RDBMS. You wouldn't find a single company that doesn't use a relational database to store their data and not use that data in their analysis. Learning basics of relational database is a prerequisite before you delve into structured query language. So don't go into SQL before you do this. SQL Server, Oracle and MySQL, including PostgreSQL are some of the popular relational databases, but you need to keep it technology agnostic while learning about database foundations. But how do you learn RDBMS? To learn it, check out this amazing free, free, free resource from Free Code Camp. Before diving into their video, take the money you just saved and buy yourself a notebook and a pen. Or if you're feeling fancy, two pens. I want you to take notes, draw concepts while you're watching this video. Imagine that you are preparing for an interview and these notes are to serve as a reference. That's what I do all the time. See this. At the end of this learning, you will not only gain database knowledge, but also data modeling, which is super essential for a data analyst. I have included the link in this description and that is more than enough to gain good understanding of databases for the purpose of data analyst. Your next foundational technology to learn is Structured Query Language or SQL. It is a universal language dealing with relational databases. You can use it to not just query data, but also to create databases, tables, and many other database objects. Depending on the type of operations, SQL commands can be categorized into mainly three categories. Data definition language, data manipulation language, and data query language. 
DDLs are used to create and drop objects, for example, create table or drop table. DMLs are used to manipulate data, so you can insert data in a table like this or update and delete it like this. DQL is mainly used to query the data from database tables. Here is a simple example. Well, not that simple, but you get the point. As a data analyst, you just need to focus on DQL. Everything else is a bonus. So how do you learn SQL? Well, by doing it. My secret advice here is that you grab a copy of this book titled Beginning SQL. I used this book to learn SQL long ago, and though it was published about 18 years ago, it is still the best. For the purpose of data analyst role, only focus on first 10 chapters of the book. That's it. You read that once and you will be settled with SQL for the rest of your life. It comes with a downloadable practical script so you can do things yourself which would give you hands-on with both databases and SQL. Alternate suggestion is this W3 SQL website and I have shared the link for both in the description box. When it comes to visualization tools, the options are plenty, but let's zero in on the big players, Power BI and Tableau. Not click here, because if you are investing time, invest on top two, is what I had say. While I worked with both Tableau and Power BI, my favorite is Power BI. Why? Because of its seamless integration with Microsoft products and services. Microsoft Azure is a leading cloud, and if a company is heavily invested into Azure, think why would they consider Tableau or any other tool out of their stack when Power BI is so much friendly and easier to integrate. On top of that, it is a lot cheaper than Tableau. Now Tableau. Tableau functioned as an independent company until a few years ago when it was acquired by Salesforce, a popular CRM solution provider company. With its intuitive interface, you can turn complex data into stunning, easy to understand visual stories. A clear win Tableau has over Power BI is its stunning and rich visualization capabilities. Thanks also to its seamless integration with Salesforce. Both tools are incredibly powerful, turning complex data into compelling stories with just a few clicks. While I anticipate I might work on a video comparing these two in depth sometime soon, but for now, do your research and take an informed decision. Now how do you learn Power BI and Tableau? Best way to learn Power BI is by doing it. Microsoft offers a very unique one day long event called Dashboard in a Day. This is about six hours of online experience which gives a quick start with Power BI with opportunity to design reports and finish with a working dashboard. Go and register for that event and find link in the description box. Thereafter, continue your learning using these official resources from Microsoft. Now for Tableau, leverage official e-learning material to learn it. Tableau also provides some of the free material, but it is not as rich and as comprehensive as Power BI has. Once you have learned foundational skills and picked up with a tool, next thing is to learn some advanced technologies that make the data analysis all the more fun. While a lot of people would talk about R, let me save you time. Just learn Python as this is the most popular programming language for data analysis today. Python is super popular because it's easy to learn and incredibly powerful. With libraries like Pandas and NumPy, you can quickly clean and analyze your data. Plus, it's great for automating repetitive tasks that you can't otherwise easily achieve with either Power BI or Tableau. It's like the all-in-one tool for data analysts making your job smoother and more efficient. Although Python does not enable users to visualize their data as attractively as R, but who cares? We already have a visualization tool chosen in the previous stage, so keep it simple and practical. Today, a data analyst must know how to interact and work with various cloud platforms as well. I'm not asking you to become a cloud engineer. Well, if you're still keen on that, do watch this video where I provide a roadmap to become a cloud engineer. Coming back to the topic, as more and more systems and applications are moving over to the cloud, most of the data available for analysis is stored in cloud providers like AWS, Azure, or GCP. Here, we put the database and SQL knowledge that you gained earlier to use. Quickly familiarize yourself with various relational databases offerings across AWS, Azure, and GCP. 
All I'm asking you is to familiarize yourself with how to connect and extract data from these services for your analysis. For Azure, take a look at services like Azure SQL, Synapse Analytics, and Microsoft Fabric. For AWS, look at RDS, Aurora, and Redshift. And for GCP, cover Cloud SQL and BigQuery. This familiarity would pay you heavy incentive when you put them into your CV. Finally, it is time to cement your learning by doing projects to build your portfolio. Note, key challenge in practicing data analysis is not having the right data set. Once you get the rich data set, on one side, you can apply your skills to analyze data creatively, while on the other, you get to practice converting that into impressive dashboards. So let's get through some of the great project ideas using sample data sets. For Power BI, you can find a variety of data sets here. Working on these projects will not only help you understand Power BI's features better, but also enhance your ability to visualize and interpret data effectively. This hands-on experience is invaluable for building a strong portfolio and impressing potential employers. Tableau users, you can explore a wealth of sample data here. By engaging with these data sets, you will gain practical knowledge of Tableau's capabilities, learn how to create interactive dashboards and uncover insights from complex data. Completing these projects will boost your confidence and demonstrate your expertise, making you stand out in the competitive job market. Now finally, some tips and tricks as to how do you go about looking out for the job. Go to the LinkedIn, keep your profile updated. Tailor your CV, include all the technologies that you have learned and as well as highlight all the projects that you implemented. Make sure to scan job postings as they come on LinkedIn and as well as directly on the site of the company. There might sometimes be a need for you to tailor your resume to make it suitable for the role that you're looking for. Do that. Apply for as many jobs as you find even if your suitability to the job is not 100%. Sometimes given the complex market situation and the tough job market, it might be difficult to get a role up front. But don't quit. Keep applying and keep improving. So I hope you found this content helpful and all the best in your journey to becoming a data analyst. Happy learning and I'll see you in the next video.